Here's Jenna here with Clayton. I know, I'm trying to get the camera ready. Jenna here with Clayton. And today we are going to be working on some out of sight stays. So I'm going to put him into a position, yes, on this mat, just to kind of help generalize this behavior. Um, sometimes it's easier to use mats or little rugs, yes, little spots, placemats, what have you, to kind of help them understand this exact little spot, yes, is where I'm supposed to be. Good. I'm going to see if he'll go into a down. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to try and get him into a settle with his hips popped to the side. Hi, good boy. That's okay. We got you. Oh. So he popped out of a down. I'm going to put him back in. Yes. And just wait him out for a second. Um, I'm going to reinforce him pretty heavily in this down so he doesn't pop out. And then I'm going to work my way. Yes. Good boy. Trying to stand up. Yes. A little bit better. Yes. Good. Yes. Just so he understands that I want him in this down. Yes. So I am reinforcing him pretty quickly. Yes. So he doesn't pop out. And if he does pop out, I'm just going to wait him out for a second. Good boy. Good. And then I'm going to just stay. Yes. Good. Stay. Yes. And I'm breaking down those stays. Um, I don't want to just like put the put a dog into a down and then, you know, say stay and walk away. I really want to break this down step by step so he does understand. Good boy. Yes. Exactly what I'm asking for until he fully understands the uh, skill. Yes. Good boy, Clayton. Ah, ah. So he popped out. I'm going to lure him back into a down, but I'm not going to reward him. I'm going to wait him out for a sec. Good boy, Clayton. Yes. Good. Yes. So when dogs pop out, it's not because they're stubborn or, you know, what have you. Yes. They just don't understand yet the, the skill or haven't practiced the skill enough. So Yes, that is another reason why I'm really breaking this down step by step. Yes, good boy, Clayton. Stay. And I'm adding a little bit of distance. Yes. Each time. Stay. Good boy. Yes. And there are some distractions outside, you know, people walking by across the street. Good boy. Stay. Yes. And so we're building up that distance and duration Yes, to um, be able to do out of sight. Good boy. Stay. Yes. So I was out of sight really, really briefly, and that's what we're going to do. Stay. Yes. Good. Ah, ah. So he's popped out a little bit. We're going to lure him back. Good. Down. Good boy, Clayton. Yes. Good down. Yes. Get him back into the position that we want. Good boy. Ah, ah. Now. So notice we're not rewarding any other behavior. Good. Yes. I waited him out just a, a second of being in that position. Yes. So I don't want him to understand that popping out is going to be rewarding. Yes. It's the holding the down that is rewarding. Yes, good boy, Clayton. Good. So I'm going to wait a second to get some. Good, yes. Wait a second to get some engagement. I'm going to do this stay. Yes. And break that down again a little bit. And this is really helpful. Stay. Um, for, you know, yes, a variety of reasons in the house. Um, you know, being able to walk around the house without a dog following you. Yes, there is a man outside. Good boy. Yes. Good job. He did a great job of not reacting, staying in that position that we're asking for. Good job. Yes. Stay. But it helps when you have guests over. 
Um, honestly, it's just a really important skill for so many reasons that, but it's a, a skill that needs to be worked on and practiced in a variety of distractions and such, but you don't want to add distractions. Yes. Um, too fast to not set them, set them up for success. You want to add distractions here and there. Yes. Good. Stay. Yes. So I was out of sight. I added just a two second beat. Yes. Good. So what we're doing here is you know, adding duration into this position and then adding distance and then adding duration to the distance. Yes. And then we'll add distractions. Good. Yes. He is smashing it. So for instance, uh, distractions. Uh -uh. I know you were doing so good. Clayton, down. Down. Good. Good boy. Yes. Good down, Clayton. Good down. Yes. Stay. Yes. Good. Yes. So some distractions could be like cooking noises, um, I don't know, children, guests. Yes, good. Uh, uh. Let's end this on a good note, buddy. Down. Good. Yes, good down. Stay. Yes. Good boy. He really is doing such a good job. And this is a, a really hard skill that you do want to um, break down in different scenarios and in different environments in the house. Uh, I think we as dog guardians and, you know, dog trainers even, yes, sometimes set the expectations of a dog just like too high and we don't meet them where they're at. So it's really important to set them up for the best success because they don't understand what we're, we're asking. Yes. So by doing this step-by-step -step breakdown, it is truly um, like translating to them. Yes. What we are asking and expecting of them. But of course, I'm not going to do this until a dog knows a down or a stay. Yes. Good. Yes, good boy. Anyway, free. That's what we're working on today. Let us know if you have any questions.